Well, hello, you lovely people. Matthew here with Gear Sounds. Today we're doing all of the mallet tones, and we've got a bunch of them, and I don't think we should, but we do. But that's okay. I'm going through this pedal for people that are going to be using things that I might not use. You know, you might not use these. And then, of course, we also have the guitar tone plugged into the Princeton. turn that on and off as needed and I'm very low on the synth just because I have my amp pretty loud so we don't need to hit it with that hot of a signal so that's the first marimbo called marimbo marimba called warm vibraphone you can see right there those are the tones we're looking at let me just zoom in a little more there we go Look at that. So we're in the mallets the whole time. So safe for me to do this. Hard marimba coming up. Oh, that's interesting. What's great about the synthesizer is that because of how many tones you have, You have so many tones that really I don't I don't see a need for adding too much. I mean I do want to add some more pads if I'm honest. I guess whatever your favorite tone is, that's what you want more of. With guitar. The guitar is going to sound good with the mallets. I'm going to try to make it sound good with the mallets. I am. It's called Funny Mallet, so maybe that's why. Glockenspiel. That's a mini marimba, basically, right? Oh, my goodness. That's really cool. Oh, I like that. Wait a second, are there overtones going on here? Wow, that sounds very realistic. You know what, then again, if you put somebody who really played Glockenspiel, they'd be like, that doesn't sound real at all. Glockenspiel is essentially a xylophone. It's longer, I think. Here's the W version of it. This usually has an effect. Wow. Okay, this is my new favorite tone for today. some Nine Inch Nails vibes with that. I like that. <laughs> What's up, ERM? Yeah, mallet time indeed. We're doing some Nine Inch Nails stuff. Take a listen. Tell me, I mean, if you know Nine Inch Nails, you'll probably know what this is. Well, actually, this is not a Nine Inch Nails song, but he uses these kinds of tones in his music a lot. Doing great. ERM, I don't even know what your name is. Don't know what to call you. Uh, we're doing amazing. Great to see you on the live stream. What do you think of the Glockenspiel tone? This is the W version, so it actually added way more ambience. Here's the original. Here's the W version. Likely some reverbs and stuff going on there. You can always investigate what's happening with that tone by going diving deep into the menu. Oh, yeah, let's add guitar with that. Let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> that 
That's so strange. You know, you're right. That's a way better tone than just by itself. Because by itself, you can't really hear the notes as well. But with the guitar. Very interesting. And then you get your, your tones on top of it, right? I know, right? That does sound way different than I thought it would sound. Great suggestion. Well, you know why I'm doing that is because uh, that's a weird tone. So to me, I mean, why would you play the blues with that, right? Let's try it. Right? <laughs> that's not going to work. So whenever I'm demoing these pedals for you guys, I always try to think like what's going to sound the coolest at least that I know how to play with that particular tone. This one wants to be somber. It wants to be dark. It wants to be creepy. That's creepy, right? <laughs> too bad it's past halloween i could have done like a halloween episode for this pedal there's so many creepy tones in this thing this is the creepiest synthesizer that i own by far this is my favorite my well i said earlier that another one's my favorite this is my new favorite a slicer in the effects chain let's try that are you talking about the last one i was doing are you talking about this one? I love this one. I can add a slicer to this one, but tell me right now if you were talking about the other one. So the way you're going to add a slicer to this... Oh, on the glockenspiel. Okay, let's try to add a slicer on the glockenspiel. So to add a slicer to that, we're just going to hop into the menu here. Oh, no, not menu. Page. Here it is. Okay, we got Glockenspiel level 110. Let's keep going. Okay. I have to hit this part number one first. There we go. Okay, so now I can modify the tone. Oh wait, I have to select it first. Tone modify, there we go. Or is it MFX? Yeah, it's MFX. Okay, here's the effects. Uh let's see. Is it under others? I don't even I don't think I remember how to get to. How do I get to the uh I thought it was in the tone modify section. I guess not. Octave decay release. This is okay. So that's synthesizer controls. MFX switch on. This is reverb. Ah, here we go. This is the effect. Okay, so category. Let's change this one here to uh, slice. Oh well, I'm glad. I'm glad Gear Sounds is here to figure it out. So you saw I went to the MFX section, and I'm on page two. You can see the, the dot out of four dots. It's on the second dot. So that's how I know I'm on the second page. So I had to page over to get to this menu. Now I'm actually able to select... Oh, the combinations are crazy. You can actually do two uh, effects. Uh, where's the slicing? Pitch. Lo-fi. Looper. Delay. Whoops. Comp. Limiter. Where's the slice? Ah, it's under the modulation. Tremolo, auto pan, slicer. There it is. Okay. Modulation slicer. Finally found it. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, man. 
man, that's so good. We're going to do that more often. So now that I know how to get to that, uh, I got to thank ERM for requesting that slicer modification to the Glockenspiel. The Glockenspiel shooting. So we go back to, I'm going to press button number one. Oh, wait. Uh, tone select. Wait. I've got to use this button here. Browse. There we go. Okay, so now we know how to do that on the pedal itself. That's cool. We're learning together, guys. Awesome. So... That's awesome. Amazing. <laughs> Let's do that on the vibraphone. So now that I know how to do that, let's just, we're going to go ahead and go to exit. Yeah, exit. And then we're going to go to MFX, click. And then from here, oh, no, no, no. We're already on the menu, so we don't have to click it. We just, we're here. Okay, we're going to go to the next page. Oh, no, we can't. We can't do a effect on this one for some reason. Normally on page two, there's supposed to be like an ability to change the effect. I can do the MFX type through. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. That's why. Because it's chaining it to another effect chain. That's why. Okay, there's equalizer. Uh, I don't want that. Mid-side EQ. Oh, it's because I'm in this category filter. Duh. Uh, we want category... Uh, oh, phasers. <laughs> This was not going to be an effects video, but thanks to ERM, it's now an exploration of the effects. That's subtle, useful modulation. Okay, so this is where you're going to find, oh, the tremolo. So let's get to the slicer. Oh, I could get on board with this one. This one's fun because it's just, it's default setting. So whatever, like each little hit, you can actually choose the volume. So you can have it go like, duh, 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 duh. You know, any, anything you want. I think it's 12 steps you have to choose from. Let's turn off the guitar volume so you could really hear that. some more life to it the effects section of this pedal is pretty nuts so many layers you can totally change the sound with just a few plugins yeah absolutely i mean you're seeing i'm just kind of using the slicer because i like the slicer but there are effects combination oh this groove yeah i'll save this one so we're going to write this one to a new page because this one is well this is just the vibraphone with the slicer on it but ERM says we should save it, so let's save it. So let's write it. Hit write. And then we're going to determine the location. So I don't want to do the sweep strings. We're going to go all the way. Well, actually, I click this down. A little hard to do with one hand. I can go faster. Okay, let's do to 149. Because I have my subscribe patch, as you can see, on patch 150. We made that in one episode. Let's do it to that one. Uh, let's do... What are we going to call this? Uh, slice strings. Yeah, that's what we're going to call it. Okay, character. Oh, wait, I forgot how to do this. There we go. This one is so annoying. <laughs> Look at this is how you type on this thing. One of the only bad things about the pedal, but hey, you know, most everything else about it, in my opinion, is pretty good. 
There we go. Whoops. Okay, let's let her here. Okay, there we go. We got slice strings. Let's go ahead and hit it. There we go, executing. So we're gonna save that on patch number, uh, that's gonna be 149. So that's gonna be our slice string setting. Cool. Oh, that's not slice strings, that's a slice vibro phone. Whatever, whatever, I'll change I'll change the name later. Uh, the rolling, the rolling Tyler, <laughs> the rolling typer. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, let's try to we can slice some more stuff i mean it doesn't just have to be that one right who's who's saying we're limited to slicing just one tone i mean it's really i blame erm for causing this uh, chaos today on a live stream if it weren't for him being here live i would have definitely not done all this nonsense it's too much work it's too much work to do all this but i know the pedal well so I don't mind doing it. I have also been experimenting with removing certain strings from the synth that I don't need, he's saying. Uh, just have the synth play the top supports. That way I don't get as many sloppy mistakes. Note triggered. Oh, interesting. Interesting. That's a good way to do it. Yeah, if you wanted to just add like a synth note on your, your high strings only, you could probably play something like this. But then only the high notes would be with you they would only those would join you and then you would kind of get the other notes away from you out of your way frequency wise that so to speak but i really oh i love that by the way we got the clean tones coming out of the princeton reverb too much fun with that one so any of these again any of these we can slice up we were adding effects earlier so if you weren't here live go ahead and rewind the replay vibraphone w2 so the w's we figured this out finally a couple episodes ago the w's what they mean is it's another effect being added on top for us so w2 is likely going to be a different variation different effect oh yeah there's a chorus on there let me turn off the guitar so you can hear it that's nice and then of course it's gonna be a trim low how nice is it i don't know oh that is pleasant I like I like slower trim lows, but that's fine. sound like with tremolo on my amp too i'm wondering let's turn on the princeton reverbs tremolo i'm just super curious i can't match i mean i don't have there's no midi clock from the princeton so i can't match them but let's hear You guys cannot hear. I know that I know that the live stream is not doing that justice. That sounds so epic in the room. The two tremolos going together. I have the guitar tremolo. So let me just hear 
Listen to just one tone, the synth. And then hear the guitar tone. They're almost perfectly in sync. <laughs> it's so good. That's, there's no way you guys are hearing it as good as I'm hearing it. That is probably one of my favorite tones I've ever achieved in Gear Tones history. I've been doing this channel for five years. That is an amazing sound. How dare you, ERM? That's not a great sound. That's like, that is the best sound that you've ever heard. Everyone agrees. Never heard a sound like that. It's like overwhelming me with dopamine. I feel so happy. By the way, Gear Sounds is about to get paid, you guys. Thanks to all your love. Well, and my hard work. But without you guys, my hard work would fall on deaf ears. So thanks for your support. We're just 300 subscribers away from monetization. Let's turn on the guitar for this one so you can hear. How's that any different from the last one? It's literally just brighter. Am I wrong? It's got like a little chime kind of to it as well. But let's move on to the W version. Oh, that's way different. with that. Oh my gosh, the tremolo on the guitar, it just really is bringing out some great flavors today. Thank you, Fender. We we're playing the GNL Legacy Special with some uh, hot rails. And it's going into the Princeton Twin Reverb with the Cube Street EX providing our synthesizer tones. If you haven't tried a two amp setup for synthesizer, it's it's really a must if you're gonna if you're any in any way serious about making good synthesizer tones. This is the GNL Legacy Special, USA made. And I love on the back of the neck, it has a serial number and it says, Made in Fullerton, California, USA, the birthplace of Bolton. And that phrase is trademarked, the birthplace of Bolton, which means Leo Fender went over to GNL and he's like, We're going to trademark the phrase, the birthplace of Bolton, which is hilarious because he started doing that with Fender, sold the company to CBS, and then did GNL. I love GNL and Fender, don't get me wrong. People often ask, like, why do you always play GNL? Do you like the GNL better? No. I actually like my fenders better, but the GNL has tended to be more reliable in terms of the input jack. Or the output jack, excuse me. Guitars don't have input jacks. I know, I know. So, back to work. This is such a, a great vibrato tone on the Princeton. That's max intensity, slowest speed. That's my vibrato tone. Don't you dare steal it, or I'll sue you. It's trademarked. See, the only problem I have with 
guitar synths is take a look. You know, if you heard that musically, you're fine. You know, you see me in a band doing this. And you're like, that guy's not only not cool, he's probably never even seen what a woman looks like naked. And it's unfortunate because not only have I, but I am cool. And this is proof. And you guys are just jealous. Anyone that says that I'm not cool is really, that's fine. You know, jealousy is, you know. We all work through it, but why would you be jealous of this? I know, because it's attracting like every female in the vicinity. The moment they hear that, they're like, is that a guitar? It's not a guitar? Oh my God. And the ladies scream, just like the Beatles in the 60s. It's crazy. Because, I mean, I don't have any evidence of that, but just believe it. Okay, moving on. What do we got? <laughs> Somebody left the stream, by the way, when I was... Saying all that nonsense. <laughs> Look, if that's uh, it's that's gonna get people to leave. I mean, oh well. <laughs> I'm gonna make what I want to make. So this is another marimba, just with a W. So I'm hearing a. It's almost like uh, the attack was or the release was completely destroyed. No, it was always like that. So what changed? I can't even hear it. Oh, it's just reverb. Okay, that's no big deal. What about this one? Oh, that one's kind of cool. Got like a little bit of a chorus, I think, on there. because it doesn't sound like what it looks like or maybe it does i don't know okay <laughs> You know. That's so interesting because it's literally the computer attempting to interpret what is all that noise. So when I'm doing this, it, I mean, I was actually kind of selling it, I think, but. It does sound a sound poo poo, if I'm honest. And there, a lot of times you don't mean to, to touch the strings with and get transient sounds. Like as guitar players, we often will do this, you know, just even that little slide will create some kind of. reggae band guys get used to it no longer will i play strange psychedelic music it's all going to be reggae from here on out you're welcome what do we got next marimba uh bs marimba what does that mean so sad when we're finished with this pedal and I have I have to figure out some other video to make <laughs> what happens you guys what do you think is going to happen if I finger tap I haven't, I haven't even tried it yet, but let's try it. Let's see what happens. 
That's really funny. Okay. That's kind of exactly what I expected. I just thought it was going to, I don't know, either sound worse or better. It's kind of just exactly what I expected. Disappointing. I wanted to be surprised. Marimba 2. Wow. They really got interesting with these names, huh? Paul, have you finished naming the marimbas yet? No, no, no. no uh, I mean, almost. I'm just, I'm on the, I'm on the mallets right now. Okay, hurry up. Marimba 1, Marimba 2, Marimba W, Marimba W2. <laughs> oh, this is like BS Marimba. He was mad at his boss at that time. Like, this is BS Marimba! Because this is BS! I mean, really, what's what do we got to say about that? Nothing. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now that's a different tone. Now I can add this with my guitar and get something like this. That's worse. I don't know how, but that's worse. That's mildly better, but still bad. Sorry, guys, if you really like xylophones. Okay, there we go. There's something useful. sustain on the, some of these oh that's cool okay i like this one this one is definitely cool no like legitimately this is not even a joke i think this one's too super cool on the notes of the synth. Are you saying I should I should do weird intervals? Or I was? Pops sequence. I don't know what the rest of these are going to be. We may have some madness in store. Typically, not so much. But sometimes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Definitely madness. pop sequence too and totally usable let's let's uh i don't know let's finger pick with this thing
else know? Oh, yeah. It's a gear demo. Okay, forgive me. What else we got here? That one's really good, actually. I kind of want to slice that one up, so let's do that. So, remember, we're going to be headed over to the uh, exit button first. Then we've got to go over to the MFX section. Then we got to hit the page button to the right. And then we have to move this knob until we see something, like filter. And now we're ready to get to the very right-hand side. Uh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. It wasn't under filter. It was under modulation. Yeah, see, this is one of the problems with just pedal, huh? There it is, slicer. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Let's turn this off so you can really hear it. Oh, it can't slice it because it's too short. Okay, so let's modify the tone then. Um, this is where I'm going to be able to... Oh, everything's set to zero, that's why. Okay, let's do the decay maximum release. Maximum, see if this helps. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Ah, that's too long. <laughs> that's just like forever. Okay, let's turn the decay down. <laughs> okay, where are we getting somewhere, right? Okay, so let's try that again. Oh my gosh, that's super cool and usable. That's awesome. Okay, so then, now what? Okay, so now let's try the uh, effects. Okay, page two, category modulation, slicer, okay. It says this, this section of tone is on, but I don't understand. Oh, here we go. There we go. It doesn't seem to be affecting the tone for some reason. to this except change the attack and release or excuse me we change the decay and release that's it that's all we changed and we got this thing is the send up to effects uh how do i check the send <laughs> i'm supposed to be the expert here bro what the hell uh, let's see, tone select, uh, MFX, I'm assuming the send's gonna be here. Follow tone MFX, switch off, switch on maybe? There it is, yeah, yeah, switch needed to be on. That's stupid! What the hell? Why would it be, oh, I guess, I don't know, maybe this is a, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Why would it do that? Okay, well there we go, now it's my tone with the slicer. We need that to last a little bit longer. It's getting cut off a little too soon. Let's do the decay at 30 and we'll do the release at 35 and let's see what that does. Oh, that's way better. What else we got here? Not a fan of that. Oh, oh no, 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 no. We definitely don't want that. Auto pan, what's that gonna do? Oh, we're not stereo, so that's not gonna do anything. Ring mod. Worthless. Oh, Juno Chorus. Oh, that's so good. We've gotta save that one. Uh, where's that gonna go? Let's write to 
148. We're going to call this our lice strings because I don't want to name this right now. I want to continue with the live stream. There we go. Let's just move on with our lives. Someone left the live stream. They're like, you're taking too long to name that patch. This, this stream sucks. I don't disagree. Give me a moment. We're coming back to it. Okay. Tone select. Browse. Okay. Pop sequence 2W. What's that going to be? That wouldn't be cool with mixed with a banjo. What the hell are you thinking? <laughs> yeah, it's called R Lice. That's so quiet. Let's turn that up a little bit. Oh, no, I know. But still, I don't hear any of these. I don't hear any of these with a banjo in my head, sir. Wait, there's banjos in this thing? Is that what you're trying to tell me? That in the acoustic guitar section there's banjo banjos? with my emotion sir we're gonna check right now and if there are no banjos inside the acoustic guitar section you are here by band from the channel for fake news uh let's find out if you're a liar or not uh let's see i'm in the oh wait that's the acoustic piano um Ah, there it is. Why is not in alphabetical order? Okay, I don't see a banjo. Um, mandolin, rezo guitar, no banjo though. Looks like you're banned, sir. That's with a mandolin. I'm going to be honest. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Sorry, sir. Moving on. Ethno keys. Hmm. Awesome demo. How's the sensitivity tracking feel? Sensitivity is similar to the other one. Tracking is about 20 or 30% better than the GK3. And for that reason, the feel of it is much more, I can't explain it, tight. Like there is a latency adjustment, but that doesn't, that's to me not why it feels tight. It feels tight because I have more confidence that it's not going to make as many mistakes. And I know that seems kind of silly. Like, why is that going to change how you play? Well, when I have confidence, I like I'll flow and I'll do something a little crazy. And once you get the confidence to know where the line is of like where the tracking limitation is, what's going to show up as an artifact, you start to move your hands in different ways to account for that. And so that's why a lot of times you might hear me use this in a way that you haven't gotten tones out of it that way, or it doesn't sound like that when you play it. You also have to remember the type of instrument you're trying to replicate. So if it's a keyboard, you've got to you got to avoid bends and slides, lest you change the tonality of it in a way that sounds like it's a guitar playing through a synth. But overall, I would say the tracking and 
feel of it because of the tracking is about 20 to 25 percent better somewhere in that neighborhood it's hard to quantify something like that good question though i mean let me give you an example i'll show you really quick and i'll turn off the guitar just so you can see what i mean like on the gk5 you're welcome omar on the gk5 i would never do something like this like a tapping riff like I can actually trust that it's gonna get it pretty much correct every time but I'll be honest my expectations are so high they're so high I don't know why I know there's nothing else in the world that really does that and you do need a hex pickup in order to divide the strings to do it properly but to me I'm like it should be further along Maybe there's just not as much of a demand for it as I think. <laughs> Same patch with a, with a uh, pretty corny uh, digital delay there. That's terrible. Sorry. That digital delay is just, it's, I don't know. Oh, that's kind of cool. go faster is that so interesting wow i think it's per string let's test it no it's per note oh my gosh my mind's been blown guys let me explain what's going on here the higher the note the faster this kind of effect this dunk 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 this delay kind of thing that's happening take a listen to the lowest note Oh, wait, let me turn off this uh, guitar. Seems clean enough since I'm not a fast player. Yeah, if you're not a fast... I'm not a fast player either, at least by my standards. If you don't play metal, you're fine. Like, if you're not going to shred crazy, you're totally fine. So listen, lowest note, highest note. Right? <laughs> That's so cool. So we get multiple, it's going to be a polyrhythm if I play a chord then. That's awesome. I love that so much. I don't know how I would use it. Like it's kind of almost like a special effect, if that makes sense. It's very, you know, kind of unique. All right. So we got next Santor. Santor. I don't know what the heck that means. sound good with this is okay this one to be honest i kind of like this one this one reminds me of like a koto from japan let's get some guitar in there
Omar, we are using the GK5 pickup here. I'm actually going to 3D print something to get this in a better position. We're going to go through that in the next couple of videos pretty soon. Because this obviously gets in the way of muting and other stuff. I mean, <laughs> you can see there. It's not exactly in the great place for doing palm mutes. I mean, palm mutes are basically gone now for me. But as you can tell, at least I can play this in like I want to. So. <laughs> this is a job honestly I do and I really thank you guys for using the Amazon link in the description to buy your stuff it doesn't cost you anything extra help support the channel okay here we go I really like those. If I had more energy, I'd be sitting here for a two hour stream. I think we're gonna wrap it up once I'm finished with these. that a lot today. My great favorites today. Turns out this episode was useful. So the reason I love this pedal is as a producer and a ghost writer, I can go right into the studio take this pedal, set up a weird tone like that, show it to the client. And immediately they're getting ideas. Like I'll just show them a couple tones and they're like, oh, can you do like a little doo 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 in the background? I'm like, yeah, I'll do the doo doo doo. And it's great pay. <laughs> That's very nice. That's the thing you guys should be thinking about too, especially these days, a lot of uh, dentists, doctors, lawyers, they play music and they'd be willing to pay you to get in there and use your pedal like this and give them some cool tones they can't get anywhere else. I mean, this doesn't sound like any piano I've ever heard. I know that the piano can do this, I get it, but the bending, the sliding, and all of that combined with the guitar really make a unique tone. So this is gonna be it, this is gonna be our last tone. So let's make it count, shall we?
the slides are so bad. <laughs> They're so bad. Because it just does not sound like the instrument. So my brain immediately is flagged like, oh, that's fake. I was having a good time and I was kind of like in the zone. And then once I did a slide, I was like, that sound is so bad. <laughs> By the way, if you guys want a, a quick little tip, be like me if you want to have good synthesizer tones. Listen for the small little problems, the tiniest, and then you can eliminate them piece by piece and then make your synth tone sound like a more realistic version of the instrument. Be like, oh, the way I played that just didn't sound like a convincing version of a piano or a koto or a whatever, a mallet or this instrument. The Yang Jin, Yang Kin. It doesn't sound like an instrument that has bends, okay? <laughs> that's how you that's that's how you don't play the synth. <laughs> Let's do a blues solo just so you know what I mean. Like if you don't play to the synth, it sounds like this. leave in the comments that that sounded good don't because you heard what i was playing before that anyways i love you guys thank you for joining in we are almost exactly at an hour i hope you guys enjoyed going through all of the mouths with me this one was a lot of fun a lot more fun than i thought it was gonna be if i'm honest sometimes the episodes are a hit sometimes they're a miss sometimes they're like kind of a hit that was today i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye for now don't forget, know your tone. <laughs> Sounds like cantina music. Yeah, it kind of does. Bye, guys. Subscribe.